Well, hey there, everybody. Thanks for joining us for another edition of the WTOC First Alert Weather Podcast. As you can see, if you're watching uh, this podcast, something a little different going on this week. Not quite the usual setup that we have. I am meteorologist Dave Turley, and I am here at the WTOC studios, but I'm joined by meteorologist Andrew Gordon. And as you can see, he is uh, someplace a little bit different. Andrew, what's going on and where are you? Yeah, doing a little uh, vacationing here, so thanks for holding down the fort. I'm down in the uh, Emerald Coast of Florida, as they call it, and the uh, water's real pretty, so turn the camera around. You can see really nice weather here, and I've been using the WTOC weather app to see what the weather's going to be like in this area all week long. No complaints yet, Dave, but I understand out in the Gulf from where I'm looking at, there's a little something that's trying to brew out there. Yeah, this is what we're going to be talking about. We're going to focus this podcast here on the tropics because today is the last day uh, that we are officially not under in hurricane season. Uh, we are recording this on Wednesday, May 31st. Tomorrow, June 1st, starts hurricane season, and we are watching something in the Gulf of Mexico. Doesn't look like it's going to have an impact on us, but now's the time to get prepared as we get into hurricane season for stuff like this. You always want to be prepared. Keep checking back regularly to get your updates. There is an, uh, a little area of low pressure there into the kind of the eastern Gulf, uh, kind of to the uh, west southwest of the Tampa area, and it's disorganized now. Now, this is something that is not a, a, a tropical system at the moment. Uh, it is more of a surface trough for low pressure interacting with an upper level trough. So we are getting showers and storms, but this whole area, this whole mess is going to work towards central and southern Florida heading into the weekend, especially more Saturday, it looks like. And then it's going to move away from Florida Sunday and into Monday. And that's where some of the potential, I think, a little bit better chance of that trying to develop as it moves away from our area. So doesn't look like it's going to impact our region, especially where you are, Andrew. Maybe some higher surf hey, there, maybe. Yeah, you know, it's actually pretty calm. Um, the, I guess the how the sand kind of curves in here from offshore is why you get some of the prettier colors because it's only not even to your, your knees whenever you're looking right here. But you go further out, you can see the gradients of the, the blues, and it definitely gets um, colder when you get further out. But in an area like this, what I've noticed is how it's different than, say, Tybee or Hillhead. June system, completely different. So I'm not sure exactly uh, the reasoning for that. But uh, there's not much give out here. So, you know, you go back a couple years and just, you know, to my east is Mexico Beach. And that got just dismantled a few years ago by a hurricane. So I think, you know, looking at different beaches across the country that I've been at, we're pretty well set up for some natural protection there with our barriers there and the um the dune system but here it's not a very wide beach it's very pretty it's got the white sand that comes down that's kind of filtered in over the years from the mountains so it's very different than than what we have but i would say that uh, maybe for the weekend people over here getting a little nervous just because of cloud cover everybody wants to be out on the beach but not expecting any impact up this way in kind of the panhandle area of Florida, but maybe if you guys are going to Southern Florida for the weekend, not the best beach time. And then we'll have to see how that of course progresses as we go into next week. But it is, you know, right on cue, like you said, Dave, we're officially going to be in hurricane season this weekend and we could have that system then on the other side of Florida that we'll be watching. Yeah. And that's going to lead us into our WTOC hurricane special called ahead of the storm and the entire first alert weather team, uh, was working hard to get stories in here to make sure you are informed and ahead of the storm uh, for this upcoming hurricane season. And um, there's a lot of good for information in in this uh, and the stories we're going to be bringing you and all the uh, information which we'll have for you. It's going to air on WTOC this Friday at 7.30 p.m. Yeah, we worked hard on this. We, we wanted to, you know, we do a hurricane special annually, and we wanted to put a little bit a different spin on it this year so i uh, tried to go a different route uh, give you some information that maybe is not so readily available at your fingertips so i did a behind the scenes story where dave and, and i went up to the national weather service in charleston talked with them wanted to give you guys an idea of 
how a forecast is made, you know, because you guys see the forecast on TV or social media or hear it on the radio or wherever you consume that media. But we wanted to show you kind of, well, what is the process of whenever we show you guys what a tropical forecast is, how we get to that point. So that's one of the things that I worked on. Also did a story on kind of getting your kids prepared if there's an evacuation, because I know so many people have dormant anxiety, uh, my fiance included, which is kind of ironic. Uh, but that's, that's a, a different story than we've done in the past days. You're talking about the potential for whole El Nino that uh, folks have been uh, talking about, which is not happened in a, in a little while so it's definitely a little bit more nitty-gritty but interesting and fun at the same time it's not like you're going to turn on uh, a documentary and, and be asleep in five minutes we tried to make it fun there's even some trivia in there which i know is uh your thing Dave. yeah trivia is always fun we're getting a little bit more wind noise is the wind picking up over there at the beach yeah you know i uh, i see some clouds moving in here from our uh our east so i think uh, there's some wind or some rain off in the distance, and when rain comes down, it displaces the air, and then you get rain cooled wind that then pushes towards you. So I'm trying to angle my phone now. That's so much better. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, they're... sorry for the wind, folks. Oh, you're fine. No, no, it's much much better now. So we got the uh, uh, hurricane um, uh, story here ahead of the storm. We're going to have that coming up here Friday at 7:30. We also have yes. Saturday. They have a Hurricane Expo, yeah, and that's going to be at the Oglethorpe Mall. And it'll be a Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., and it's our annual event that we always have, and people look forward to this because not only do you get some great information on how to keep you, your family, and your home safe before, during, and after a storm, but we get prizes. And the big prize, can you tell them what it is? Yeah, you know, not not that meeting Dave Turley isn't a prize enough because <laughs> everybody – Dave, but we are giving away a generator, one, and you have to come to have the opportunity to even get that. Unfortunately, we are not able to, but that's okay because if there's a bad storm, then we're going to be at the station anyways. Right. But yeah, the generator, I'm sure there are a couple other things that we're going to do. You can come talk to the whole weather team. We're going to have a lot of fun. Of course, I will be back in town. I'm coming in Friday night for this event specifically, so it should be a good time for everybody that wants to come out. Yeah, well, the entire first floor weather team there. Dylan Smith is first one that uh, he will be there as well, along with meteorologist Jamie Ertle and Ron Wallace will be making an appearance over there after his morning show as he comes on over. So you get to meet the weather team. You get to meet a lot of other useful uh, people out there who have um, uh, information to give you, products to help you keep your home and your family safe. And it's just going to be a good time. Weather looks to be cooperating there. Uh, on Saturday, at least for the morning, maybe some showers in the afternoon uh, and uh, in the evening hours. But uh, again, we'll be winding down at noon. So hopefully we get all that done before things start to get ramped up. And it's always good to have FEMA there, too, because those are the people that actually make the decisions when it comes to evacuations. You know, one of the questions that I definitely get a lot during hurricane season is, do I need to evacuate? Do I need to evacuate? And we don't make those calls. You no. know, we, we put the port up and then everybody can you know, make their decision based on that, my family included. But, you know, the people that make those decisions for if Chatham County is going to evacuate or not, they're going to be there. So if you want to, you know, know exactly how everything's done, it's a great time to be able to meet some of these folks face-to-face that maybe you wouldn't get to on a, a regular basis. So it's not just about, you know, giving away a prize or, you know, a Q&A session. There's so many different reasons why, we put this on so that we can get out in the community. And it's all about making you guys feel better about the season, becoming more prepared. And, you know, it, it's coming up on Saturday. I feel like we just had the one last year at the mall. <laughs> I know. It come, sneaks up on us every single year. But hurricane season officially begins on Thursday. And don't forget, it goes six months out of the year. It goes all the way through the end of November. So it's always a good time before anything is brewing in the Atlantic that could impact us, in the Atlantic Basin, I should say. Uh, to be prepared uh, just in case. It takes 30 days for a, an insurance policy to uh, go into effect. So uh, now's the time while you are uh, enjoying the relatively quiet weather, we can uh, get ready for this upcoming hurricane season. So you said yeah. you're winding down there. You're on vacation still. Yeah. Weather is good, right? And you're there until yeah. Friday. Yeah. So I got out of the drive back, you know, if anything, 
uh, Hurricane Special or the the Expo on on uh, Saturday. I got a one way ticket back to Savannah, so I will be there. Looking forward to it. Have some fun little excursions planned over the next couple of days, and uh, just gonna enjoy it. Hope that the work week though back in Savannah hasn't been too bad. I've tried to disconnect as much as I can. I will say though, I have checked the work email a couple of times, even though I need to not do that. But it has been um, has been a good week. I'm already recharged and uh, looking forward to coming back and uh, seeing you on Saturday. Well, we look forward to having you back here on Saturday as well, Andrew. We are going to let you go. Enjoy the rest of your vacation. Thanks for joining us and taking the time out on your vacation to uh, record yeah. this First Alert Weather podcast. Wouldn't miss it. I really enjoy doing this. And um, we're, we're very humble people, myself and Dave. But uh, for the listeners here, too, want to just add in a thank you for your support over the past few years because we just uh, won a regional award for the podcast. One of the episodes that we did last year on an approaching storm uh, got a pretty cool award regionally. So who knows, Dave? I know that if it goes national, we might be going up to New York City. I don't know that it's <laughs> that far, but it's just uh, pretty nice that uh, we made it this far. And, of course, the viewers, the listeners, you guys are a big part of that as well. Yeah, we want to thank everybody uh, who uh, downloads this and listens to this, whether you, you listen to it on the uh, podcast or you watch it on our our recorded video that what you're doing right now that we put on on our social media. We want to thank you for getting the information from the WTOC First Alert Weather Team, and it's our pleasure to make sure you are informed and uh, educated as we get into this hurricane season. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate uh, the call here today, Dave. We're doing a little different. If the audio sounds different, it's more of a FaceTime call. So uh, that's what we're going with for today, but... I'll let you get back to it, and I look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Don't forget to tune in to the uh, Hurricane Special, though, on Friday night. If you miss it there, you can DVR it, and also it will be on WTOC.com shortly thereafter. There you go. When it's called the Head of the Storm, it's airing this Friday at 7.30, and we got a Hurricane Expo at the Oglethorpe Mall on Saturday from 9 a.m. to noon. Andrew Gordon, thank you very much for joining us on your vacation, and that'll do it for another edition of the WTOC First Alert Weather Podcast.